Today, this is just a spur of the moment video. Miss Pat wanted to talk to you about where she's been, what's going on. It's definitely a spur of the moment. I just decided to sit down and turn the camera on. Try to be truthful, try to be honest. I miss you guys. I really, really miss you guys. <sighs> I'm glad I'm not in tears because I could be. I just had a hard time. Let's talk about it. Today, I'm talking about <laughs> some of the downsides. Some of the Miss Pat ain't coming with you happily, cheerfully saying I won. This is my winning week. No, this is the week I almost just gave up altogether. But I know I'm worth more than that. So I'm not going to give up altogether. I've had a really, really hard time. I'm going to say honestly. This is the hardest time that I've had since I actually started my weight loss journey. The last go around when I gained the weight and I lost it, did that two weeks of just putting in the work and lost it, I felt so good. I said, okay, but it wasn't nothing that I could keep up. I hurt my knees and I was at a calorie deficit that was excellent, but I couldn't stay with it. I understand now why so many people just say, okay, you know, I can't do this. You can do it for so long and then it just gets so hard to, to continue to keep it up. I understand why people go and get the weight loss surgery. I understand why people are taking the shots, the medication or whatever else they're doing. I understand. I understand because it gets to a point where you get, get so tired that you don't know which way is up. You know how to do it, but you don't have the strength to do it. You don't have the willpower. You don't have the finances to eat right. You don't have the diligence. It's just something. I felt like I've been in an entire crash. Just crash. I'm not back over three, thank God. But I'm not any lower than I was before. That little bit that I lost, I've gained about half of it back. And it's, I'm, so, I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of it. Like, what is wrong with me? That's what I keep on this tell myself. What is wrong with you? I know this is a, a worldwide epidemic. U.S. is horrible. The South is even worse because of the way we eat. Being older is harder because it's harder to come off. I don't want to make no excuses. I just want it done, but I'm tired. I'm tired. I want some help, and I don't know what help that is. I've talked to my doctor and she said, well, why don't you try some of the things that are working for others? Because I don't want the side effects. I don't want to... I, I, I don't know at this point, fam. I don't know what's going on with me at this point. I'm very upset with Miss Pat. I'm very upset with me. I'm very tired. I'm sincerely coming to you asking for your prayers, your suggestions, your help. I know, I don't know what all I get. I'm hoping I don't get a lot of ridicule. <laughs> and you failure. <laughs> I'm doing that to myself. I don't know. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I've been at it for a minute now. I've been at it for a minute now. And I want it off. I want to lose more than I've lost. I, I keep coming up short. I keep coming up short. And then I'm getting upset with myself. And then I'm down to myself. And I should know better. And I know a lot of it is my spirit. My mental. I'm tired. I'm tired. And I know my, what I'm saying is not good. It's the words of your mouth. So I, I, I'm dealing with Pat right now. I'm dealing with a lot right now. And I wanted to come to you guys, and I didn't put on no special clothes, I didn't put on no makeup, I didn't put on no nothing. I just wanted to come to you and say, you're worth an explanation. I really love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I thank you for your words of kindness. Your, I thank you. I appreciate you. So I wanted to come and say, I'm not gone for good. 
I'm just trying to figure out how to get back. I'm trying to figure out how to get back. How to be back on track. I love the, I really enjoyed the walking outside, but it really didn't do any help for those knees. I like going to the pool, but then I felt like I was in a rut, like I wasn't really getting anywhere. But I know I can't quit altogether. See, that's what happens. When I get like this, I quit everything. I quit exercising. I quit eating right. I quit everything. I quit, I quit talking positively. I just quit everything, which is silly. Because when you quit everything, you start gaining back everything. I don't want that. So I'm coming to you saying I'm in a crisis. I'm in a crisis. I don't want to stay in the crisis. I will not stay in the crisis. But I'm having a hard time right now. I'm going to fight my way out of it. I'm going to fight my way back to where I need to be. But I'm in a crisis. I'm begging you to not give up on yourself. I see your comments where you're doing good. You're losing. You're staying on top of it. Continue to do that. Because there may come a time where it gets hard for you and you don't know what to do. But if you work really hard, then you're not going to go back to where you came from. Because you don't want to lose all that ground. Continue to work hard for yourself. Continue to know that you're worthy. Continue to know that God got you. God got you. If you stay on track, he'll stay on track with you. That's what I got to do. I, I just give up sometimes because there's so many other extenuating circumstances. You know, everybody got life. Life be life. And, but you can't give up on yourself. You got to continue to put yourself first. Sometimes that gets hard, but you got to continue to put yourself first because if you're not good for you, you can't be good for anybody else. So I want you guys to know that I'm not giving up. I'm not quitting. I'm not giving in. I've done that. Now I got to get back to Pat. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you don't give up on me. I hope you don't quit on me. I hope you know that this is not a journey that's easy for anybody. I don't blame anybody that goes and takes a different route because if you can get help, get help. I just feel like I'm past that point of surgery. I'm past the point of shots because of this, some of the side effects. Maybe I, she was telling me about a couple of other things that I'm checking out and looking into. But right now, I just got to keep on with something. I know I can't stop like I did and just say, you know what, I'm tired. I'm not going to eat right. I'm not going to exercise. I'm not going to blah, 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 blah. Just ridiculousness. Because then I end up back where I was and I would never, ever be back over 300 pounds. I would never, ever be back over 400 pounds. But I got to get out of these freaking 280s. What the heck? How'd you know better? Do better. I'm stuck. And then it doesn't help to see people that are getting the assistance and they're doing so good and they're looking so good and they're feeling so much better and they're living their life. I got to continue to live mine. But then I'm like, come on now. If you're going to get online and, and think you're going to be, I don't know. I've never called myself an influencer because I'm not. If I influence you, I want to influence you positively to know that if me as an old person can do it, so can you. Or influence you to know that do it while you can if you're young. Don't wait till you're old and ailing in your joints, body, heart, lungs, spirit. Do it while you can. That's what I want you to know. Do the best you can while you can at an early age as possible. Because things don't get better if you let them drag on. If you procrastinate with your health, procrastinate with your mental illness, you're going to suffer the consequences. Sometimes you can come back from it and sometimes you can't. So right now, I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. I'm staying here with you. I didn't want to talk to you. That's just fact. I didn't want to say, hey, I fell. I fell again. I didn't. It's embarrassing at my age to know I still have to fight this kind of fight. But I'm going to continue to fight it. 
I really just want you to know that I love you. That you're worth an explanation of why I'm not doing what I said I was going to do. Why I'm not posting like I said I was going to post. Why I'm not doing a weigh-in like I said I was going to do the weigh-in on a consistent basis. I just want you to know that I'm going to fight. I'm having a hard time right now. I don't want to give up. I don't want to quit. But I'm having a hard time right now. And that's honest. That's honest. That I'm not happy with myself. But I'm going to continue to go. And I want you to stay alone for the ride. Or if you're sick of me. <laughs> I understand. I'm sick of me. <laughs> anyway. I appreciate you. Please come back if you want. If you can. But no. I, I, I'm giving it all I got. I have so far. I will continue. But it's not pretty. Sometimes it's nice. It's joyful. It's enjoyable. And sometimes it's not. And right now it's not. Right now it's not. Thanks for being here. Please like. Share. Subscribe. Hit your notification bell. And come back. Come back. We're worth it here. We're fighting for our lives here. We are fighting for our lives here. If that's what you need, come join us. If you know somebody that needs to join us, share the video. We're going to do it. We're going to do it because we're not quitters over here. We're doing the best we can and we're going to continue to do the best we can. I'm on a weight loss journey. I'm on a health journey. I'm on a return to self journey. I'm on a be a better person journey. I'm on a time is running out it's time to get it together live your best life journey and as long as you're living know that the journey continues you're in control just do it just do it